plays right now. But unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. After the sack on first down, golf. And his throw here is incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And yet again, Goff is intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. Well, mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner in coverage there. And not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged. And it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tabbed as one of the best in the league the prior season. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, I feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. This drive starts with two steps forward and now one back. A pair of first downs in here, a loss of yardage. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. On second and 11 now. Oh, that throw taken in by Jamison Williams. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And the Colsons are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, C.D., you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform with four interceptions here in the first half and several different guys have picked him off. Yeah, instead of analyzing what's going wrong with him, throwing the football, while we look at the defense, they came in prepared, have excellent game plan, well scouted, and they're taking it away in almost every time. Back to throw now on first down. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he is going to lose yardage here. So that one a disaster. A big loss there with second down coming up. On play action, they'll throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. They'll look to throw again. Campbell making the catch. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Chase McLaughlin now for the field goal try. And this one is no good. He missed it. And that'll keep this a 22-point game. One of the few things that hasn't gone right in this first half. They had a chance there for late points. But this one winds up off the mark. And now we'll get a late timeout. 
as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. The final shot before break here. Golf. He's going to look deep down the field. And that is caught at the 10 yard line. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Extra point by Badgley up and good. And that will cut the lead down to 15. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. offense ready to kick off their next drive by no means certainly are they out of this contest two score games start of the third quarter but you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points then it can become a slippery slope this feels like an important possession yeah and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead you need some kind of points here even if it's just a field goal it's what i call one of those calming drives trying to slow things down a little bit on second down, Swift. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Third and long, it's gone. Being chased out left. Man open, it's St. Brown, he's got it. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Here's gone. The connecting here with DJ Sharp. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now gone. And Sharp calls it in. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. This is Swift on the counter. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. One yard gain brings up second and nine. A shotgun snap for gone. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts are going to take over at their own 11 yard line. They were well aware of the scoreboard as they went into halftime, and they know how tough it's been to put up any kind of points. But if there's a positive after that play, is that they were able to take a shot at the end zone on their opening drive of this half. The negative, though, that shot at six ended in an interception. And we know that's not going to jumpstart this struggling offense. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And for a second straight play, the Lion defense drops it behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. There's Foles. And a throw for Pittman is intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. 
But such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Lions take the first turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And this is back to an eight-point game. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Like this is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. First and 10, Taylor now. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. And they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Foles. He'll get this one to Pittman. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. From the gun, it's Taylor. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Four yards the pick up, first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscle all over the field. And get touchdown, Indianapolis. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. And he is not going to get to the goal line. And for the first time here this afternoon, they are thwarted on the two-point conversion.
Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner. Knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. To try again after the sack. Golf. He's airing it out for Williams. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that, but that would have been a big play. But he could not pull it in. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and forever. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he'll let it go deep right side. He's got a man complete. And he's going to step out of bounds all the way down on the other side of midfield. When you think of guys that are built to be big arm quarterbacks, Jared Goff, he fits that mold, and he showed it off right there. Goff on first down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's right. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up second down. To throw is gone. That pass caught. It's Williams. And they'll get him to the ground. And he has another first down at the Colts 14. From the red zone now. Gone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing again is gone. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Throwing on third, golf. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts are going to get the football back at their own 17. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Back to Taylor on first down. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And all the way down to the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They run once more with Taylor. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And now the Colts are going to keep the offense on the field as they'll go for two here. They'll let Taylor try and run. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Come on, come on. Hey. Hand the street. Hand the street. Hey. 
And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. It's a game of eight. Brings up second and two. After the run, Goff going to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A very solid gain of 27. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Another try after the first down sack. Goff. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. And he's got his man. It's caught for the line. Touchdown. Jared Goff connecting with DJ Chark. And the Lions have got it back to a two score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that cuts this lead down to 13. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. The Colts take over first down 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And still two timeouts defensively, but even if they choose to use those, three kneel downs should be enough to get out of here with a victory. And that's exactly what's being stated into the head coach's headset. Oftentimes they have a guy upstairs who monitors this at the end of the game. Well, clock management 101. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory. And I tell you what, I can't remember a defensive performance as good as this one. They seemingly forced turnover after turnover after turnover every time you turned around. Yeah, you just keep going with it, can't you? After turnover, after... <laughs>